All right, so today we're going to talk about right lung hyalur anatomy as it's seen on a CT scan. So let's start first here. I've gotten some CT images all laid out for you, and I've taken certain cuts all the way down through the hilum. And what we're going to do is go over them and sort of point out all the different relevant anatomy. Start here, and you can see right here, of course, is the trachea. And then way up here, we're in the right upper lobe. You can see some of the apical bronchi here. And right about here, you can see the fissure. And you can see it here as well. And so what you got here is the upper lobe. And you got just the tip of the lower lobe down here again. Now as you go down a little bit further, you have upper lobe up here and lower lobe down here. You've now got the carina and you've got the right and left main stem bronchus with this being of course the right. And when you set, set seeing that carina, what you'll see right here is the asgus vein traveling just underneath that carina and moving across the right main stem bronchus. The uh, branch bronchi are starting to uh, come together. You can see one here, one here, and then these little guys are coalescing. And over here I've zoomed in. You can see they're all sort of coalescing now, and they're going to form the apical branches. The uh, asgus vein is starting to disappear on this next slice, and of course our right main stem has now come clear of the carina sitting all by itself. When we move on down to the next images over here, now you can see all these vessel of these all these bronchi are coming together. You can also see some of the uh, PA branches starting to coalesce as well. What we usually have by here is you can see that the truncus anterior is starting to coalesce here, crossing from the posterior aspect of the right upper lobe, coming across right here is going to be the pulmonary vein branch to the superior segment or to the superior pulmonary vein. As we move down a little bit more, now you can see all of these have coalesced together and you can now see the anterior segmental branch of the upper lobe coming into the right main stem, which is right here as it enters into the right main stem. This would be the right upper lobe bronchus right here. And of course, this is the main stem right there. Over here, you can see the PA coalescing, the branch is coalescing into what is known as the truncus anterior. And of course coming in right here still and getting larger as it gets closer is going to be the posterior segmental vein to the superior pulmonary vein. All right. Move down a little bit further and what you can see here is we've now lost, essentially we're at the bottom edge of the right upper lobe bronchus. We're starting to enter into the bronchus intermedius. We have here the truncus anterior branch, all by its lonesome, which is where you usually see it operatively. And you here have that posterior segmental branch coming together, along with some additional vein branches coming in. Pulled a little bit further away here so you could again see these fissures. What you have now starting up right here is the middle lobe. Right here is the minor fissure, and this is still upper lobe over here, which is disappearing, and of course the lower lobe, which is getting larger. You can also see pretty plainly the truncus anterior branch right here, and it's about to enter into the right pulmonary artery right here. This, of course, up here is the main PA, and this, of course, is the left and the right. And you can see that truncus anterior branch, you can also see, again, those pulmonary vein branches right here coming together. Here comes an anterior vein branch heading down. So we move to the next one. Now you can clearly see that the truncus anterior has merged with the main PA. We're now going to start developing the interlobar PA, which you can see right here going over. In addition, you can see all those vein branches right here. Here's that vein branch, and here's that vein branch coalescing to enter into the superior pulmonary vein. As we move down here, now you can see that superior pulmonary vein right here, tight against the PA, which is exactly what you'll see when you're doing an upper lobectomy. Once you cut this superior pulmonary vein, you're looking at the interlobar PA, and here it is. Right up there, you're about to see the takeoff of the middle lobe PA, and right here, you can see the superior segmental PA going into the superior segment 
of the lower lobe, which is right here, of the lower lobe. Of course, right here now, we're in the middle of the bronchus intermedius. On this next slice, I've shown clearly as you go just a little bit further down, middle lobe PA coming in here, superior segmental PA all coalescing together into the interlobar PA. And right up here, you can see SVC and essentially the, uh, this is SVC right here, about to enter into the heart. And this is the last remnants of the superior pulmonary veins branches to the upper lobe. On the next one here, you can now see the interlobar PA right here. You've also are starting to see the middle lobe bronchi coming in. You can clearly see the superior segmental bronchus to the lower lobe. And now we're getting to the distal end of the bronchus intermedius. In addition, you're seeing now right here behind the superior segmental bronchus the superior segmental vein to the lower lobe. And that's important when you're doing a spear segmentectomy because as you go around the superior segmental bronchus, you're going to hit that vein. In addition, when you look on the next slice, you can see the vein becoming a little bit more dominant. You can clearly see the bronchi to the middle lobe. You're getting a medial branch and a lateral branch here. And then you can clearly see the inner lobar PA riding in it. Pull away a little bit here on this next one because now what you can start seeing is the middle lobe vein coming in. It's got two branches as well, a medial and a lateral, and they're coming together. If you notice, this is much lower than the artery to the middle lobe, which was way up here. You got to do down a few slices before you get to the vein. And when you're doing a middle lobectomy, the vein is the lowest structure in the hilum to the middle lobe. You can now see as well that our basal or segmental bronchi are beginning to separate. And then finally, as we talked about before, here is that superior segmental pulmonary vein coming in behind on the back side, on the posterior side of the hilum. And that's where you go look for it when you're doing a superior segmentectomy. As we get to the next slice here, you can now see the inferior pulmonary vein going into the uh, left atrium, which is, of course, right here. You can see some of the PA branches now separating from the uh, inner lobar PA and to the lower lobe PA. And of course, now you're starting to see all your segmental bronchi up here, right about here, to go out to the various segments of the lower lobe. We get a little bit deeper into the hilum now. You can clearly see the inferior pulmonary vein draining right on in to the left atrium. You're starting to get out into further segmental branches. Here's your lateral, here's your posterior, here's your medial, here's your anterior segmental branches. And again, over here, you're starting to see them all as well as they branch out and become smaller. So I hope that helps you look over the right bronchial anatomy. Thanks much.